Hey everybody and welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Today we're going to do 3D objects in Photoscape X. So you have of course when you start Photoscape it starts out with this and you come here to the editor. Uh, we'll close all this so it looks the way it would look. Edit is right here and it opens up the menu on the right. Go down to transformations, a little plus, and 3D objects is a free part of Photoscape X. And the first time you click it, it's going to go to this default. You have a thickness that you can add to make this really thick. You have rotate buttons here. One of the things, uh, so you can rotate it the X, which is side to side. You can rotate the Y, which is up and down. And you can rotate the Z, which is really almost like a 360. So I'm going to rotate this back. Now if you wanted to, you can use the hand tool to do almost the same thing. I'm going to pull down from the top to the bottom and you'll notice now I can kind of hand do this and I left to right so it's going to angle this more left to right. And then of course I can do, whoops, let's do it this way. I'll bring it up or down and across. Okay, so you can see by just using the hand tool, you can also do some really cool rotation instead of using the sliders X and Y on the right. All of that is your choice to get what you want. And then if you want to bring it back to zero, you can. So you can sort of get an idea of where you want to start. And we'll bring this down to zero. There we go. And then I'll rotate this way, this way. There we go, which is maybe and maybe down a little bit. There we go. So that's quick ways that you can rotate. Of course, you also have the offset. Now what this does, and I'm going to show you, it offsets the images inside. So maybe I want to have this with these two uh, birds in between with these two birds on the side. I actually was able to offset that picture. Now the Y offsets the bottom and the top. So I'll bring that here and that really looks very cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. And the lightness is just controlling the lightness of the picture. And sometimes you get a light direction. Uh, you might want to have your, the direction of your light coming from a specific space. Uh, this one is fine. If you get a shiny ball of light, this is where you would uh, handle that. And of course, if you wanted to add some background color, you can do something like this if you wanted to and go back to white. Okay. Or maybe you wanted a black background. That works too. So I'm going to say apply. And then I would just say save. And I can save the project, save as, save to, and save. All right. Now, we're going to revert back to the original picture. I'll go back to Transformations, 3D Objects, and I'm going to go to the round ball, which again, the black is my background here, and you can see by me turning this, I can actually move the birds where I want them. And this is where he's talking about that light shine right here. You can decrease that light shininess by just undoing this. And that's usually where the the light and you can also decrease this intensity and bring the shininess back up but sometimes it gives you a little light somewhere in the picture and the light direction you know you can actually change the direction of that light okay and I'm gonna bring the lightness of the actual picture back up so there you go I hope you enjoyed this video by the Peppy Techie please stay tuned to more videos Please like, leave comments, and most important, subscribe, hit the bell to receive new video notifications. And thanks for watching.